page 20 of chapter 1 from the book Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin. Myth accepted as history. The accepted version of history is that the Federal Reserve Bank was created to stabilize our economy. Page 21. First reason to abolish the system. That is the scorecard 80 years after the Federal Reserve was created supposedly to stabilize our economy. There can be no argument that the system has failed in its stated objective. It is not unreasonable to conclude, therefore, that the system has failed not because it needs a new set of rules or more intelligent directors, but because it is incapable of achieving its stated objectives. If an institution is incapable of achieving its objectives, there is no reason to preserve it unless it can be altered in some way to change its capabilities. That leads to the conclusion, why is the system incapable of achieving its stated objectives? The painful answer is, those were never its, its true objectives. Paul Warburg, which, by the way, is a key person in this whole banking cartel, oh, I mean, sorry, not banking cartel, um, central banking person, his admiring biographer, Harold Kellogg, wrote, Paul M. Warburg is probably the mildest mannered man that ever personally conducted a revolution. It was a bloodless revolution. He did not attempt to rouse the populace to arms. He stepped forth armed simply with an idea, and he conquered. That's the amazing thing. A shy, sensitive man, he imposed his ideas on a nation of a hundred million people. So in summation for this chapter, <clears throat> the basic plan for the Federal Reserve System was drafted at a secret meeting held in November of 1910 at a private resort of J.P. Morgan on Jekyll Island off the coast of Georgia. Those who attended represented the great financial institutions of Wall Street and indirectly Europe as well. The reason for secrecy was simple. Had it been known that rival factions of the banking community had joined together, the public would have been alerted to the possibility that the bankers were plotting an agreement in restraint of trade, which of course is exactly what they were doing. Now I'm paraphrasing. So this is a banking cartel with five objectives. Stop the growing of competition from the nation's newer banks, obtain a franchise to create money out of nothing for the purpose of lending, get control of the reserves of all banks so that the more reckless ones would not be exposed to currency drains and bank runs, get the taxpayer to pick up the cartel's inevitable losses, and convince Congress that the purpose was to protect the public. So the bankers would have to become friends with the politicians, or friendly with the politicians, and the structure of the cartel would have to be framed as a central bank. But as a cartel posing as a central bank, it has been an unqualified success.